Welcome back to Inside Guelph. It's time for your city update. So, of course, we have the mayor with us, Mayor Farbridge. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Good to see you. So, you have updated the official plan. Yes. Okay. What is the, which is, we'll just say, can we say OPA from now on? Sure. Okay. <laughs> what is the OPA? Well, the official plan or the official plan amendment that we've mm -hmm. been working on for the last five years, the official plan itself is really the guide for how our community will grow and develop. Um, mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, often I get the comment, well, why does the city do so much planning? Why do you do so many master plans and strategies? Well, we're actually legislated to do that by the province. It is one of the core responsibilities of municipal government to do that. And so um, we have to produce an official plan. We have to update it every five years. And we have to meet a number of provincial policy objectives in doing that. Um, so there will be objectives about water or wastewater or transportation. And so you have to do all the background work to be able to respond to those policy directions that the province establishes okay. for everybody. Um, and so we saw um, uh, in the last five years um, the most change in provincial policies and provincial legislation than we've seen in decades. And particularly for those um, cities that are in the Greater Golden Horseshoe, which Guelph is, so the area around Toronto and down to Hamilton. Um, and because we had the whole, that growth plan, we had some additional work to do. That's why mm -hmm. it's taken us five years to do the work. Um, and initially we started off just wanting to do one update. But because of the magnitude of the work, we broke it into three phases. Okay. Um, and so while that was good from a point of view of chunking the work out, um, it has been confusing. It too, uh, yeah. Confusing, I think, mm -hmm. for the community in terms of following the various steps. And okay. So the first step was um, addressing the growth plan specifically and how we were going to accommodate 50,000 more people within our community and 30,000 more jobs. So that was the first piece of it. Um, the second piece of it that we advanced um, was natural heritage strategies. So um, during the 90s, there was a lot of really leading edge um, work done in the community, very much driven by the community itself. So a number of, of environmental leaders in the community around our river systems, around uh, watershed planning and wetland protection. Um, and so that led to a num number of documents that were integrated into the official plan at that time. What we've done over the last um, several years with natural heritage is move from looking at the river, looking at particular features within the city that are natural heritage, but building an entire, looking at the entire system and how it's integrated and to really focus on its, um, its function as a natural heritage system. And so that was a big transition. Um, and as a consequent, language changes, um, but um, I guess the, the main message is that the rivers are part of that natural okay, heritage system. Okay, the river system. system management is still a part of that. Yes. There was some confusion about yeah. whether that had changed yeah. not. It's still yeah. a part of that. Yeah, so it's been rolled up and part of a larger, okay. what we describe as being an environment first way of planning. So it's an evolution in, um, in best practice in terms of how do you protect natural heritage in an urban environment as you're continuing to grow and to develop. Okay. And then and the then last the third, piece yeah. came forward um, on Tuesday night to council and it had um, some heritage policies that had to be updated because it's new provincial legislation. Um, it had uh, our community energy initiative, which I've talked about in mm -hmm. the past here. Policies got integrated in from that document. Um, so there was a number of other policies that got um, addressed during the last phase. So its completion is, it's, we've now got this complete document. Um, part of it's been appealed, um, so that will have to go through that process. Okay. Um, but I'm real, I, like, it was a big piece of work. And, yeah, it um, sounds huge. And I'm very proud of it. Um, I, think it I think our official plan really sets us apart. Sustainability is really built into it. Um, it, there was a lot of consultation and this community is very much uh, into the concept of sustainability and not just environmental but social, cultural and, um, and economic sustainability mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So employment lands are in it, social housing is in it. Uh, biodiversity and pollinator uh, habitat is in it. So it's quite comprehensive in terms of how it's looked at 
how do we want our community to grow and what will it look like in 25 years right and I was reading your blog earlier today and you you did a nice job of describing on your blog those three pieces so that might be somewhere you'd want to head is there somewhere else people can get information on this so well on the city's website mm -hmm. um, if envision Guelph is if you go into the website and search for that the page is there and so all the documents and all the past consultations that's all there it's it's kind of overwhelming uh, there's, yes. there's a there's a lot of it the documents are not small the official plan is a couple of inches so it, it you know these are very comprehensive and detailed Detailed policy okay. documents. So, okay, yeah. so I'll just stick to your blog then. <laughs> that was that was a bit easier to chew on. <laughs> okay, okay yeah. and it's OPA forty two yeah, was one part, but OPA was is what you're looking for. Official that's plan amendment okay. is what that refers to. Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trying to break that down into six minutes. <laughs> it's a lot of work. We appreciate it. Okay. Uh, and that wraps up our show today. On tomorrow's show, we have your adopt a pet segment with the Guelph Humane Society. We also have your Guelph Police Services update, as well as the River Run. Now, the River Run has just launched their brand new series. It's their whole lineup. So, Alipals will be joining us, telling us about what they have lined up, so that we can start saving for those tickets. So, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>